Hi guys, Will from TechHunt.net here and today we'll be taking a look on how you change your system iOS font on your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPhone. If you're in the same situation like me, the iOS font does get kind of boring it, you know, just, you know, it just gets boring over the time you use it. I've used the iOS default font for over a year now and it just, you know, gets really, really boring. I'm fed up with it. So I found a way on how you change your font. I did a video on how you change your font back last year and that was, you know, kind of unprofessional. I was just, you know, a little kid before he hitting purity and stuff like that. And Today again I will just show you how you do that. So you just go on Cydia and you would need to download by the font. So let's just go and show you that procedure. So you would just go on Cydia and search for a certain application or tweak that is called by the font. B Y T A F O N T by the font. It is available on the ModMy repository and it is free. This does work with iOS 5 and 5.0.1. Okay, if you have installed by the font, you don't want to go ahead and open by the font because you will be disappointed because there are no default fonts or built-in fonts with by the font. So you can the reason why that is you can, because uh, you can actually download fonts right from Cydia. So let me just show you how we do that. So you just want to go on the second tab on Cydia, which is called Sections. So on the section tab, on the section tab here, we do see these folders, folders or sections here. We have tweaks, we have apps, etc., etc. But there is this font section. There are around 550 fonts there, and you can just take a look at them. And there are like so many fonts. There are like A to Z, and so many fonts. Uh, you can just, uh, let me just download this font, TF2 font, I guess that's from Transformers. You tap on install, tap confirm, and it will just start downloading. Alright, so if you have finished downloading your font, you want to go back and buy the font, and you would have all your fonts that downloaded on the basic tab here. This is the middle tab, the third tab here, and you can also browse fonts that will just redirect you back to Cydia. And, and you can change your uh, advanced settings like your node setting, your, your nodes font, your system fonts, your lock screen, clock font, blah, blah, blah. And let me just activate the font that I just downloaded, the TF2 font. And if you want to, if you want to change a font, by the font will ask you to respring. We'll do that, of course. And there will be some errors, of course, but we'll just continue. All right, so my font has finished, so my device has finished respringing, and the font that I chose was a TF2 font, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, it is pretty different from the uh, default font for, of iOS, and there are like so many fonts right now, and as you can see, the note, I guess the, note, uh, the notes didn't change here, but uh, some of the other system fonts did change. And that's really, really cool. And as you can see here on Spotlight, the uh, results did change, the font results did change, and that's pretty cool actually. Again, you can find this font, font changing program by the font on City again, on the ModMy repository, for free, definitely free. And it's compatible with iOS 5 and all iPhones, iPods, and iPads. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any problems or if you do encounter problems, just tell me. I'll just do my best to help you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more Sia Tweak reviews or tutorials. And I'll just see you later. Peace.